Hey, welcome guys to my Mystic Mesa Play Along series. I'm doing one episode a week, whereas Stacy does two, because I'm playing along with Stacy Plays in her Mystic Mesa series. But I'm loving playing this so much, I thought I'd do a special bonus episode. Also because we reached the Mesa. Like, we're in the Mesa. Like, I just, I was stumbling around the last episode at night, I actually grabbed this string actually, and just ended up here. Which is amazing. Oh, it's so, it's so pretty. And I wanted to show you guys the sunset. Oh, it's not the sunset, it's the sunrise, isn't it? Look, it's so pretty! This is really pretty. So what can we see, because it was so dark before. I still need to uh, find some more sheep, because I've only got two bits of wool. I can't see sheep, which is really, really not good, because we haven't got a bed. We haven't got a bed. I guess I could make one out, like make some wool out of string. Have I collected too much stuff? I have. What have I got? Ew, we don't want spider's eyes, yuck. Oh, I just want some sheep. I just want to find some sheep. Because then we'll go back up and we'll start building. Because this is, I wanted this, whoa, no. Oh, I've teleported back to where I died. And luckily most of the things <gasps> seem to have just fallen on ledges. How am I going to get back up? Oh my goodness, there's a sheep in... This means I can make a bed. You do not believe how hard it's been to find sheep to make wool to make a bed. Like, how did Stacy do it so early? Um, I don't want the sheep to fall into the lava, so I'm trying to mine around him. I might have to go this way. Ah, oh, there he is. Okay, we can get wool from here. Oh, my shears fell in the lava. And I don't have enough iron. I'd have to cook some real quick now. Let's do this. Oh, my crafting table got burnt too. So we'll just we'll just quickly make another one of those. <laughs> While I chuck wood everywhere. We've got more iron to cook up, but I'm just trying to do this really quickly. Give me all that stuff back. Where's our sheep? Please don't please don't make this go into the lava. Am I close enough? Did I get it? Oh, I can make a bed. I can make a bed. Oh, I can't believe how epic a journey it was just to make a bed. So now, instead of like having to put up with really dark nights, we can just like have a sleep and wake up in the morning. Oh, I want to help you get out of here, sheep, but I don't know how. I don't know how. How did you get in here anyway? I guess you just fell down like I did. It's a bit of a trap, this hole, isn't it? Hey, we can teleport. Is that cheatery? We can just teleport to the shack. I'm just gonna do that. Ah, home sweet home. I do like it up here. I do really like it up here. I think this is cool. Needs a few more trees. I wanna plant some more of those things, but I do really like it up here. Ah, I'm gonna put all the stuff away that we just collected. Last episode, we found some amazing uh, fossils and sort of archeological stuff. Okay, we'll just make some more chests as well. I should probably actually put all our archaeology stuff in a chest on its own. Um, so I'm just going to put my bed down there. It's a really lame spot to put it. <laughs> so this episode, I wanted to be like a little mini building special. So am I going the right direction? It's really hard when you can't see where you're going. Oh, I'm not. It's over here. Okay. The sun is setting. Whoa! Come on, come on, you can do it. Come on. Get out of that water. Um, it's getting really dark, actually. But uh, we've got a bed now, so I'm going to go have a quick sleep. And then in the morning, we're going to start building. And I'll probably do like a really speeded up thing. So that you guys aren't watching like hours and hours. If you guys think I should be streaming some of this stuff, tell me. I've never done it before. But I feel like this series might be a good... A good time to start, maybe? I don't know. Stacy doesn't really do streaming either, does she? Oh, I'm so happy to have spent my first night, like, sleeping on top of the hill. Today is all about digging. <laughs> it's pretty much what it's about. And collecting quite a few of these trees. 
because I, I actually want to replant these as well and plant even more of them but I want this wood because this is going to make the pillars for our base and I've got quite an ambitious plan for the base but this might this will just be our base for the first few episodes we might build another one in the mesa now that we know where it is well we've get, we're getting a few saplings which is really good because I really didn't want to just completely get rid of all the trees I actually want to make it more tree-y I think we should have more of them So this is what's left of the shack. It's just like a hole in the ground now. Literally a hole. I think there's one bit of wood that I left there by accident. Which we shall now remove because we have no use for the shack anymore. I have to put my hand up and say that I was digging, digging, digging. And then I was like, hmm, maybe I'll just go into creative for a sec. Yeah. I've cheated. I've cheated. I feel so bad. This is so... Stacy would not approve. I'm pretty sure she would not approve of going to creative to build yourself a home. Like, I feel bad. But I also feel really happy because I think I've done a really good job. <laughs> I set myself some rules. I was like, only use the stuff that's around. So it's a bit ugly inside because I've had to use this hardened dirt... And these trees, like the wood is a bit fancy, like a bit too fancy. It's all a bit busy inside, but uh, I think what we'll be doing is we'll be making it better and better and better and building on it and building more rooms. And should I just walk over there and show you? Let's do that. Where is it? So it's over in this direction. I've tidied up all my waypoints already. I'm calling it Hilltop just because it's on top of a hill. But I've also, uh, I also put in a heap more trees because I chopped down loads of trees. So I've put a heap of them back. So it's looking really nice and shady now. Um, and we also, I noticed that the garden stuffs mod was installed, which I love because it gives you these little like funny sized posts. They're really good. We could actually put some thinner pine trees in as well, just to make the place look a bit more interesting. So we can have like some big tall ones and then some little skinny ones. So if we go in here, so it's all secure. It's all nice and secure. It's quite dark. <laughs> it's the only thing, <laughs> especially this bit because it's all sort of underground. The other thing is too is I ha there's no sand up here and I set myself the rule that I would only use the materials that were on top of the hill. So we're going to have to go down and get some sand to make some windows because this just looks like bars. I'm really not happy with this. Um, we'll just go out here first because this is where we can see the mesa. So cool. So, so cool. I need to do something about my render distance, but so, so cool. This is actually, this is part of the garden stuff mod and you can't actually jump over it. It's like a proper fence. So there's no way, uh, I just thought maybe mobs could probably fall down here and then get stuck. So I don't know what to do about that. But yeah, somewhere down there, there will be sand that we can use to make actual glass. So we don't have just this horrible sort of, it does look a bit like a prison, but it won't, it won't, it won't for long. And like, I know I went into creative to build a lot of this, but we can like, we can fix it up with stuff we collect not in creative along the way. I will always tell you if I've gone into creative. I'll never do things sneakily on the side. I will always tell you, I promise. Um, and let me know if you think that going creative is like a good idea or not. Because um, you should really tell me off if you think it was too cheatery. So this is our just our resources area. I've got our chests. I moved all the stuff one by one. It's all in here, so we have all our inventory pet stuff here, all our archaeology stuff here, all our gems, what's in here. This is wood and stone and food 
and just random stuff that, oh, we need to fix that as well. Oof. Uh, and there's our bridge maker, which I still haven't worked out what the heck it does. It seems to just turn into a lump of wood when you put stuff in it. So I don't, I don't really understand. I think I need to look into that. Um, so I'm guessing this will just be like a general hangout area. We've got another little room over here so we can, again, we need glass, but we can look out onto the, what is that down there? I don't know what that's called, but there's a jungle over there. But that'll, that'll let us look out on the other side. And then if we go down into the darkness on the bottom floor here, I don't know what to do. It's really dark just in this area. Hmm. So maybe we can put another window in. Maybe we can move, like, build out that way? I don't know. If you guys have suggestions, let me know. And this is my bedroom, which looks like a prison. Still, we really need to get something happening that's not wood planks. And also, there's nothing in here. This is going to be my base for the next little while, I guess, until Stacy builds a base and I see what she's up to and maybe... We can respond to that somehow, like either not copying st what Stacey's doing, but making something similar or something in the same vein. She has amazing, awesome ideas. I can kind of do modern builds, but I'm not very imaginative. Like, not as imaginative as Stacey is with her, with her builds, like her Disney builds and stuff like that. So, yeah, this will do until we decide on what else we're going to do. Uh, for now, and I just wanted to make this an episode about building this and showing you around. I'm so happy with the view, look at that. I mean, once we get glass in here, it's going to be so different. So, so different. I might actually have to go get some glass and sort that out sooner rather than later, because... Yeah, not loving, not loving that. And, like, if we go to the Mesa, we can get some clay and turn these walls into sort of clay or something like that as well. That would be a lot nicer. So, yeah, if you have suggestions on what to do in here to make it better, like rooms we should add or textures we should go collect, anything like that, let me know in the comments below or on Twitter at Baboiks. And uh, hopefully I'll see you next episode. This is a play-along series, so make sure you check out Stacy's original series. And if you want to download the mod pack for yourself, there'll be a link in the description. I think that's all my housekeeping. I'll see you guys for more adventures next time. We've done our building. Now we've got to go find more stuff. We've got to find some creatures. We've got to, we've just got to collect loads of stuff. So that's what we'll do next episode. I'll see you then. Bye! See you later!